good YouTube today I'm gonna show you how you can make a space plug type beat and because you heard the beat in the beginning I'm gonna start with the piano wall right now and what we have here is a bell pad from Synology and as you can see I started off with a minor 11th chord I think and then just went down for five semitones played a bit around with the top notes and then at the end I made a diminished chord and that's how it sounds like yes sir and then I just layered this with two other sounds from purity a pad and another piano I don't know if you gotta hear that but it's just the same notes with a different sound and then I have this bell pad from Purity and I played this in with MIDI keyboard I don't know this just sounded fire with the with the piano melody yeah and then the strings from Purity I don't know why but I always use these strings uh, these are the the and the strings too. I use this for every beat, bro. I don't know. This is just fire. Yeah, and then I got this partial sound from Purity. Then I layered this partial sound with, uh, I don't know, I think it's arpeggio from Purity and yeah just the same notes but this uh, arpeggio had a really crazy effect that I fuck with and I just wanted to implement this in beat For context we can listen to the melody in a whole so let's do that real quick Oh shit. Um, then for the drums bro, I would say let's start with the hi-hat. Um, I don't even know how to explain this bro, just do something bouncy like this. Yeah, I didn't even change up this pattern, just copied it over and yeah. Then I added some snare and perks, but I don't think you gotta listen to that. The most important thing is I think the sub by the way. And for space plug, I would recommend you using a sub because like a normal 808, it can fit in some beats, but I think in the most, the most of the time, a sub is the best way to go. And I don't even know if you can hear this, but let's play this. Yeah, and you can see these are the root notes of my piano and the overall melody. And yeah, this A sharp was way too low for me, so I pitched this up one octave. And that's it for the drums. Um, then we can go over to the mix and master. But to be honest, bro, I don't be doing anything crazy with the mix and master. I just be like EQing out some frequencies of the melody and the drums, and that's it. Um, also, I put down the volume of the snare because it was way too loud for me and also the perks. The master, yeah, as you can see the fruity mute, this is like the most, I, would, I wouldn't say essential, but when you do plug bro or you listen to plug, you heard this sound effect and this is this like little stop effect. I think it's really fire and then I put on a EQ, cut out some of the mid end because I think the vocals they are laid down 
at this frequency spectrum and when I cut this out at the beat um, then I don't know if this is true but I think to myself that the vocals have like more space and shit and sound better so yeah then a compressor you can I don't know copy this to your to your own beats but what this does is when the 808 hits then the whole the other melodies and shit they get a bit quieter and then the 808 hits way harder so I really fuck with this and I put on Fruity Convola with basic preset I think for the beginning intro uh, like this reverb intro and yeah basically that's it for the tutorial I just added some sound effects like this and this one and yeah that's it for the tutorial as I said if you want this melody or this loop then you can check out my free loop kit that I dropped I think last Wednesday or something uh, I'm gonna put this in the description and you have this exact loop in there and some other space park loops you can even tap in with me on social media we can work I can send you some more loops that I have you can send me loops and yes sir bro I might even preview the loops right here <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Have a blessed day, bro. Keep grinding. And yeah, see you in the next video.